Welcome to Anchor Brand Ranch. Look who's back out in the yard. Laura's needing to learn how to load this feed truck and use some of this equipment in case everybody else is gone and she has to do it. So her teacher right now is going to be Riley. He's kind of a hand with all this stuff in the yard. So he's going to show his mama how it's done.
Nice drop, Riley. Oh, darn it. And then the squeeze quit him. And for the rest of the day, pretty well everything we touch winds up getting broke down. came loose. Be a mechanic when you're older? No. <laughs> Why not? Small, so I get put into these spots. Okay. How far? We got a lock washer and some lock tight put on that and a nut. So first put. Let's see if this is coming out of it. Will this start as high as even? Yeah. Well, we were coming to check water and we felt some loud noise. Our drive line broke. The U joint went out back there. We don't got much for tools. Got lucky and found a crescent wrench here. I'm going to see if I can get this drive line took off and put it in four wheel drive and go back to the house <sighs> I don't know about this really okay we're going to have to get something and stick in the driveline to stop it from turning so that I can get when you turn that is that what spin the wheels uh, yeah Hmm. So it's hot, 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 hot. Trying to figure out a cheat. Tired of being broke down. Proper tools. I know. Oh, heck, I don't know. What do we got? Need something to stick through here so I can stop that from turning. What do we got in here? Longer than that? Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> That big crescent wrench just ain't doing it to get a hold of those and turn them off. Need some decent tools. It's all so hot, can't touch it. That's freaking hot. Got your bailing wire. 
Well, I have enough tools to take that drive line out. That big old crescent wrench is not going to work to get a hold of those bolts and get it out of there. So I've got a really bad idea that involves this ball of bailing wire. I'm going to get a bunch of this and wire that drive line up and try to drive home with it like that. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to get all this untangled first. It took me 10 minutes to get that big ball of bailing wire untangled, but I've got them all straightened out here. Now I can start on what's probably a bad idea anyway. So I'm going to clump all these together and make one kind of thick wire thing here. And that drive line is going to ride in there. I know it's going to wear out that wire, but I'm hoping if it's thick enough, we can get at least close to the house before it wears out on us. I'm going to try to twist that all together a little bit there. And get under there and wire up that drive line with it, head for home. I do not know if it's going to work or not. How long will it take a spinning drive shaft to wear through that? I don't know. We're about to find out. Let's go see if we can get it wired up. Too close, it's gonna hit that. I gotta get it up, gotta get a step a little higher. Oh. Oh. Gonna slide down and hit that. I don't know if there's any way to get it to hang right in the middle. I don't know if this is going to Cut off a few straggler wires here and use those to try to hold it in the middle. Right now it's going to get over there and be thunk, 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 thunk. What do you think? I think it'll work. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Look, let's try it for a second and see what it does. Checking right now. Hey, we're moving. I can hear that. I can hear that spinning in that wire, but it must be running pretty straight because I don't hear any crazy clunking or anything. I guess it's a matter of how long before it wears through that bailing wire, wears it out. Maybe we can get all the way to the house, no problem. I don't know. This phone we're video with, it's flashing red, it's about to be dead, so. We might be broke down, no phone, 
nobody's at the house to call anyway, so it's going to be a matter of how bad's our bad luck today. We're going to take a right right here at this black mailbox, and then what do we got, about six miles to the house? Six miles of rough dirt road to get to the house. I don't know if those bumps are going to jiggle that and make it get wonky or if it's going to keep riding. It's actually sounding pretty smooth right now. Guys, if we can get home without walking, it'll be a long walk. Well, we made it not quite halfway. We probably got a mile and a half or two miles out of the six mile journey and you could hear it tear up. We'll go to thunking like crazy, so let's look and see what actually happened. Must have just got a little over to the side and started whacking itself on the muffler there. I mean, if I tie it over here a little, a little better right there, we might be all right still. I like a little Oh yeah, that'll hold it over away from that muffler a little. Well, let's try it. On the road again. My life's love is breaking trucks down with my friends. But I just can't wait to break down on the road again. Well, we're not going to have to walk too far. We're back to the house. It's actually making very little noise, so that's a good thing. You know, uh, I started up Anchor Brand Ridge YouTube channel. I'm just going to show you some of the fun stuff of cattle ranch and being a cowboy. And I bet you all have noticed what I'm noticing. We are doing very little cowboy stuff. And a whole bunch of being broke down and fixing busted old crap. The truth is, I'm getting a little tired of it. I'm ready to get caught up on all this broke down mechanic garbage. Got to get on a horse and go do something. Anyway, right now we should be happy though. We're back to the house. We could be on a six mile hike as the sun's going down right now. We're here limping into the yard. Can you hear that? I was hoping we were going to be out getting out of the yard and checking some water and look at some cows, but we're back here in the shop. I'm going to get under there and see about tearing that drive line out and patch it back together. Maybe one of these days we'll get out on the ranch and do something with a cow. Here's the drive line that didn't get us home. And there is the bailing wire that did. It never even wore all the way through a single one right there. That's not the way to do things, but that's how we did them. Now, get that thing pieced back together. Try to do some ranch. Probably better throw this back in the truck. I don't know what we'll need it for next time, but you know we'll need it. Thanks for watching Uncle Bandman's.